Rich and poor have always used ships for travel. Merchants and slaves sometimes traveled on the same ship. What is life like on board a ship? Everybody knows that life on board a merchant ship is not one of comfort. The same is true of life on my ship. You probably wonder about sleeping arrangements. Who sleeps where? Clearly, as the owner of the ship, I cannot sleep with the rest of the crew. Sleeping arrangements for merchants and rich passengers are also not the same as for the crew of the ship. Our sleeping quarters are tight, and sometimes mariners have to sleep on deck, exposed to the elements. Most ships have the sleeping space at the stern, but it is not always large enough to accommodate all sailors. We stop quite often for various reasons, but mostly for provisions of water. Dietary provisions on board the ship depend on availability. We eat fish, salted or freshly caught, dried meat and fruits, nuts, olives, and dried bread. Passengers and merchants bring their own bedding, as well as food and wine provisions. But I'm responsible for provision and distribution of drinking water. To save space, we take few belongings with us. Only what is necessary, such as our eating and drinking utensils, bedding and wine provisions. We make many stops along our journey to sell merchandise at different ports, but also to stock up on our provisions. Water is the most important provision. We prepare our own meals, which usually consist of fish, salted or freshly caught, dried meats and fruits, nuts, olives, and dried bread. Most ships carry mortaria, so that we can make our own sauces and spice up our food.